contestant na ang boses ay parang uh, In fact, nung bata pa ako, probably some 10 years old We had that small piece na vibrator <laughs> ano, Yung reaction niya was parang deadpan Parang wala lang And then sabi niya, quick quick shorts I don't know kung totoo yun uh, na ang gamit ng mga Bisaya sa ganyong talagang shorts ay talagang definitely quick quick shorts. Research ako, although of course sa Google, Google lang naman, uh, there is such a thing as mek mek shorts. Parang mas gusto to sa, ay, sa Popeyes. Ha? Miss Chicha is waking up! ABS-CBN somehow has maintained that a stature Tinanong ko sa kanya, may multo ba rito? Oy mga kuyakoy, this is Kuya Mike Ang kuya nyo sa Amerika And this is for the kuyakoy list Okay, so pagkagising ko and uh, had some breakfast Binuksan ko yung TV Of course, it's a smart TV And uh, nakita ko sa YouTube Magkasama Si Miss Kim Chu at saka si Bossing Vic Soto. Wow! This is such a coup for Miss Kim Chu. O oh, ano yan? Rhyming, di ba? Dahil um, si Miss Kim Chu ay finisher niya si uh, Vic Soto sa kanyang channel and nagkaroon ng interview. A bit of an interview although this is a sponsored vlog by Lala Moves. Still, hindi mo ma deny na nabigla rin kayo na magkasama ang Miss Kim Chu at uh, si Bossing na magkatapat at talagang uh, very fierce ang rivalry between It Bulaga, now EAT, versus It's Showtime. Okay. Alright. You know, nagkataon lang. Pero it, this is what I was about to uh, talk about eh, tungkol kay Kim Chu rin. And apparently, may issue pa pala si uh, Ms. Kim Chu with MTRCB. Akala ko it's all about Ms. Vice. Actually, panood ko ito eh, uh, ng live. Ito yung pagka mispronounce or misuse ng word na vibrator instead of vibrato. This is a tawag ng tanghalan segment na kung saan there's this contestant na ang boses ay parang uh, parang ganyan, no? parang ala misyasya pa dila, although lalaki uh, so yung vibrato, malakas and then instead na vibrato ang nasabi eh, vibrator and then she corrected herself na it's supposed to be vibrato so I'm sure palalampasin yun ng MTRCB dahil It was just a misuse of the word But technically, a vibrator is not necessarily a sexual device Dahil ang vibrator, kung titignan nyo, is a massager That is the actual and first use ng isang vibrator In fact, nung bata pa ako, probably some 10 years old We had that small piece na vibrator or massager and it was in plastic hindi yan yung parang rubber na kung saan ay ginagamit for some fantasy or whatever but it is a massager na nalagay ko rito bata pa ako, siguro 10 years old and of course wala akong kamuwang muwang to me it was a massager and my dad would have that as a massager unless which I really highly doubt okay technically ang vibrator, kahit sabihin nung pang nabanggit ito ni Kim Chu, it is a massager. Kasi again, naiiba na ang isip ng tao and make use of such word in a different manner. Well, sa tingin ko lang ha, at kung sa akin lang, kung desisyon ko lang ito, maabswell to rito si, uh, si Kim Chu. Pero, may nabanggit pa si Miss uh, Kim Chu And I think this was papanahon Ng segment na Girls on Fire Which is yung P.E.K. P.E.K. 
shorts. Yung may clean shorts na halos kita na yung underwear. Actually, siguro this was uh, probably coined in in the 90s, which is very interesting actually. Pa parang bagay naman yung yung pangalan na shorts na yon, no? Although a little salacious uh, totoo naman, pero I think bagay na bagay. Kim Chu, when I heard that, eh parang nagtaka siguro siya bakit pangit ba yun and such that at nat, although natawang audience si uh, Mr. Jong Hilario na kasama niya noon eh <laughs> ano <laughs> yung reaction niya was parang deadpan parang wala lang and then sabi niya quack quack shorts which we shall use instead of yung ginamit na term ni Kim Chu and then Nalaman ko, for some reason, I was able to, siguro sa pagtitingin ko sa mga ibang vlogs, parang na may nabanggit na absuelto or maaabsuelto. Again, si Ms. Kim Chu sa paggamit ng word or words na quick quick shorts. Dahil yung paggamit ng shorts na yun, yung style ng shorts na yun, eh yun ang tawag daw sa Bisaya kung saan si Ms. Kim Chu ay uh, from Cebu. So, Bisaya language ang gamit dito. I don't know kung totoo yun uh, na ang gamit ng mga Bisaya sa ganong talagang shorts ay talagang definitely quick quick shorts or P-E-K P-E-K shorts. Totoo ba ito na this is already considered part of language ng Bisaya ang paggamit ng words na yun? Let me know sa mga comments. And I check, no? Nag-research ako. Although, of course, sa Google-Google lang naman. Uh, there is such a thing as Mekmek -mek shorts. Alam nyo ba yun? Mekmek -mek shorts? Ang Mekmek -mek shorts ay man shorts na kasing ikli ng quick quick shorts. Pero wala akong nakita na definitive information Quack Quack Shorts or P-E-K, P-E-K Shorts e talagang part na ng lingwahe ng mga Bisaya. So this is actually interesting na paggamit ng such words. Alam mo, ang, ang words ay talagang nag-iiba through the years. Umiiba talaga ang meaning ng mga words. Either nagdadagdag, nagsusubtract uh, ng definition or mukhang uh, talagang nalipasan na, nakalimutan na yung mga totoong meaning and talagang gumawa na ng sariling meaning na mas ginagamit generation na yun or nung panahon na yun. Ano ba yung mga words natin na, na tayo lang actually ang gumagamit pero iba sa totoong English definition. Like for example, number two. Number two is just number two. Pero sa atin, it's a mistress. Chancing. I don't think even <laughs> English dictionary would have that. Let me see. Chancing. Or yung panghihipo. No such thing. Chance is do something by accident or without design. Pero yung panghihipo o chancing is talagang sinasadya, hindi ba? Or even yung pagpatay na massacre, kagaya nung uh, salitang salvage. Salvage no word na yan, eh, nauso nung uh, martial law, nung 70s. Pero ang tutong ibig sabihin ng salvage in yung English definition, something na sira, eh pwede pang makumpuni. So parang baliktad. And ito ay during sa panahon nung 70s. And that was during martial law years. Definitions and word meanings change. It's part of the evolution ng language. Paggamit nga ng he or she, may kakilala ako ngayon na nag-transition siya from uh, a guy to a woman and kasama ko sa trabaho. And then sabi niya, she can only use the pronoun she and they. I don't know why they... Pero ganun nga, just like what we're doing with Ms. Meme Vice Ganda. When I refer to her, I use the pronoun she. Dahil nga, right now, yun ang kinoconsider na tama pronouns sa makabagong panahon. Ganun talaga ang buhay. 
So hopefully, just like uh, Meme Vice Ganda, Ayon Perez, maabsuelto rin ang ating Miss Kim Chu. Again, ito po si Kuya Mike of the Kuya Kuya List. It's a brand's branding and shopping channel for the global Filipino. Please subscribe po sa ating channel. Naka-2,000 na tayo ngayon. Please, we want na maka-5,000 na po tayo subscribers. Uh, so subscribe po kayo. Click on the notification bell. We'll try to create a community here. Uh, check my website, thekuyakoylist.com. And again, ito po si Kuya Mike, ang uh, malamang na kaisa-isa at kauna-una ang affiliate marketer na, na Filipino-American for online stores here in the United States. And ang kuya nyo sa Amerika, this is for the Kuyakoy List.